In this video, we'll be discussing the deflection of a stock rod due to an applied torque. Some details that we need to know about this rod itself is that the radius is one inch and that the length is 15 inches. And I didn't even give us a torque that we're gonna apply here. Usually I do that before. Uh, we'll just say something real simple for math's sake. Let me put it in here so it looks tidy. Let's say 500, 1,000, no, let's just say 500 uh, foot-pounds. Play with our units a little bit. And so let me describe the situation. What we have here is a rod that uh, looks like a rod that's sticking straight out of the wall and there's an applied torque on it. Um, it's solid, it's not hollow, it's not like a, a, a hollow pipe or anything like that. And uh, there are direct equations that you would use to calculate this, but I kind of want to go through all, kind of an indirect way to show all the different equations and how they connect. And then later on you can just use the more direct function that gets you right to where you need. So yes there's a faster way to doing this but I want to show us you know the general deflection and then maybe at the end I'll show the degrees that the bar will actually twist. So starting off uh, we're going to use this equation up at the top and all it's saying is torque is going to equal to basically the radius times the torsion and uh, multiplied the area. Oh, what's this going on here? There we go. And so with that, uh, we don't need to worry about the integral so much. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on different uh, radiuses. We're just talking about the whole rod itself. So you can actually just look at that in a more simplified fashion. which would be fair to call it T is equal to rho and the area. And that's the cross-sectional area. So with that, we can pretty much calculate um, our torsion, which would be the first step. And then we would use that torsion and the modulus less uh, rigidity to come up with a general deflection and then we would work that back into a general twist that the bar undertook. So, and that's a theoretical twist. So what we can say here is we have 500 foot-pounds and that 500 foot-pounds, I'm just going to keep our units straight so let's convert that 500 foot-pounds to 6,000 inch-pounds, so let me do that, 500 foot-pounds of torque is actually equal to, you know, multiply it by 12, that's equal to 6,000 inch-pounds. And the reason I'm doing that is because the shaft itself, the shaft itself is 15 inches long and I just want and we're working with PSI and it just makes a lot more sense to be working in inches. So now that we have our torque, let's just quickly calculate this out. It shouldn't take too long. So 6,000 inch pounds is equal to the radius, which up at top it said one inch, so that's simple, tau, which we don't know and we're trying to calculate, and the area of that rod, which one inch radius, we're just talking uh, pi r squared, r is one, so we're just talking about pi. We can put 3.14 or just, you know, know that that's pi. 
So when we calculate this out, 6,000 equals 1 times tau times pi, we can kind of determine our, generally determine what tau is, which equals around um, 1,900 and about 11 psi which when I'm start, start talking about modulus, elasticity, and modulus rigidity, I actually like to always put it in um, KSI just for my sanity's sake. So it's actually um, 1.911 KSI. That's just because the lookup tables are usually in KSI. So now we know how much torsion is being applied on the rod. And with that, we're going to use the next equation, tau equals the modulus of rigidity uh, times the general deflection. I'm going to call it general deflection, and uh, I can explain that later. So now we have 1.9111. KSI is equal to the modulus of rigidity. Now we need to know this. Um, I'm just going to say a material because I haven't stated that yet. Let's just do uh, steel, which is around 11. I think it's like around 11. Let me look it up real quick. 11.2. Uh, so 11.2. KSI and then we just have a general deflection. So we can come up with this value and when we work it out it just equals 0.1706 now I'm not going to say this is a I'm not going to say what units this is, but it's it's a little bit different. Um it's it's kind of like KSI over KSI. Um it's a little bit detailed, but all you need to know is that this is our general deflection right here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So with 0 0.1706, we're going to use our next equation up top, which is just going to be the radius, rho, phi, which is going to be the angle of rotation, divided by the length of the rod. Now if we look over here, take a step back, look over here, the length of the rod is going to be 15 inches, and we just want to know if we had some sort of rotation what would that be? And that rotation would occur right here. Okay. So we're going to calculate that out. Rho phi over L. So the number is 0 0.706. Point one seven zero six is equal to, we know that rho is just going to be 1 over phi L, which is 15 inches. Notice that this is still, uh, I'm just going to consider this a unitless value right here, it's just a ratio. So if 1 inch over 15 inches, those units cancel out, these two right here one inch over 15 inches. And so if we multiply that 15, we should we would get our phi is equal to and it's 2.5 2 2.56. And that's actually in radians. That's just the units. So if we convert that we're getting what I would call just a theoretical deflection of around 147 
degrees. Now I say theoretical because the bar, uh, the shaft might start to warp or do other fancy things um, and not remain straight in which uh, the loading would be uneven and you would get a differing result than this 147. Now typically you wouldn't um, design anything to have this much deflection but I just wanted to give some high numbers so that we actually got some uh, results. So just so we're clear um, there is a faster method of doing this and feel free to check out my other videos. I'm sure I'll post one uh, hopefully soon and that will show all the different methods and shortcuts. Thank you for watching.